Hello, it's Miss Hill here. I'm here to talk to you about GCSE Modern Foreign Languages and why you should consider taking French, Spanish or perhaps even both as part of your options. Why do we love our subject? We love languages because it's all about being able to communicate in different ways with different people from all over the world. There's a lot of variety in our lessons as there are four main skills that we have to incorporate. That gives us the opportunity to um, practice lots of different styles of activity and means that no two lessons are the same. We have to admit that languages can be quite a challenging subject, but with that level of challenge comes a level of reward that perhaps you wouldn't get in a, in a slightly more um, straightforward perhaps subject. Um, and languages are a skill that very few people in this country have a qualification in. They're a facilitating subject for our top universities, the Russell Group universities. So many universities in this country require you to have a GCSE in MFL um, before you can enter that university, regardless of what you are intending to study. And within languages, we are learning about other cultures. So we learn a lot about places around the world where they speak French or, or Spanish. And um, so that incorporates quite a large proportion of the world and it incorporates every single continent. Studying languages opens up the opportunity to appreciate music, film and TV from other countries and also provides the opportunity to travel. In year 10, we offer our GCSE students a visit to Paris and we are shortly going to be relaunching our GCSE trip to Madrid as well. In terms of the topics that you study, the GCSE topic areas um, build on what you have learnt in Key Stage 3. So a lot of the topic areas will be quite familiar to you um, and there are three main themes that they are divided up into. So identity and culture, local, national, global areas of interest and current and future study and employment. So some of the language will be familiar from year seven and eight and even year nine. And then we'll build on it and make it more complex as you study more of the grammar. You can see on the screen the subtopics that each of those key themes are divided into. In terms of how you'll be taught, the style will be very familiar to you. Um, you'll know the teachers. There are with a small department, so it is likely that you might be taught by somebody who has taught you before. We use the sentence builders in a slightly different way at GCSE, but you still have that support there within the lesson and for homework. You have a lot of opportunity for speaking activities and games that will give you confidence in your learning. The way that we structure the course is logical, which means that you are able to build on the progress that you've already made and to make progression to progress even more incrementally. There is regular homework, but this is designed to support you in your vocabulary learning so that you don't have to uh, cram everything in at the last minute before your exams. In terms of your exams, there are four skills which you are assessed on so paper one which is worth 25 percent of the final grade is your speaking exam that consists of three parts a role play a photo card and a conversation all of which you will have practiced similar style activities to in key stage three paper two which is also worth 25 percent is a listening exam paper three is a reading exam which has a translation section from uh, French or Spanish into English and paper four which is also worth 25% has a writing exam and also translation into French or Spanish. All of the skills are weighted equally so that does mean that if one of your skills is stronger than the others you can use that to pick up your grade and likewise if one is weaker the other skills will compensate. In terms of why you should do a language moving, looking towards the future, there are lots and lots of careers that language uh, GCSE can lead to. So one thing that I wanted to flag up because I didn't know that it was a potential job um, when I was at school 
is the first one on this list, which is player liaison officer for Premier League clubs. So all of the Premier League clubs have player liaison officers who work closely with the overseas players to help settle them when they come into the UK. And having French and Spanish is very often a requirement of these jobs. If not both, then definitely one language. Um, also, another thing that I wasn't fully aware of when I was at school are security service jobs, particularly GCHQ in Cheltenham, but also you've got jobs in MI5 and MI6, all of which require languages. Languages can also lead to jobs uh, in policing, in publishing, in banking and finance, obviously translation and interpretation, in local, national and international government, uh, in teaching, the list is endless. And having a language GCSE or higher qualification very often leads to you being able to command a higher paycheck uh, in your job. If you have any questions about why you should study MFL or if you have any further questions about uh, the content of the course, then please come and speak to me either at Options Evening or in my classroom.